Hello, beautiful people. Today's plans, go for a walk, try some delicious floats. If you don't know what a float is, it's basically your favorite soda with ice cream on top. And because we are going to A&W, we're going to do ice cream root beer floats is I think the plan. And uh, my kids can have milk. I myself cannot have milk. So I'll probably opt for, for fries or something because uh, yeah, can't, I can't digest milk. It's a sad life, but it's still a good life. <laughs> I could bring some lactate. Anyway, come on, come. Let's get out of the house together because seriously, we've been at home too much. Now that it's not raining, should be a nice day out there. Lately, it's been raining. Rain, rain, rain. So today's forecast is 23 degrees Celsius. A wonderful day to go get some ice cream. A wonderful day to just get out and try to live. I've been guilty for being at home for almost five days and I think this is the kick in the butt I need to take the kids out. Even though I can't drive because of my lack of vision, I can still walk. Two feet and a heartbeat. That is the secret to a wonderful day. Glad you can be along. Glad you're here. Let's see what A&W looks like. And let's stop in and get some delicious float. Uh, what is this? Yeah, floats. Ice cream with pop, basically. Or soda for my American subscribers. I guess they don't have uh, floats anymore. And now it's root beer slushes. The kids say it tastes like vanilla. That's pretty cool. It was a nice journey out today. Good times at uh, A&W. It's sad they don't have the uh, floats anymore, but eh, so be it. Gotta keep going with the times. Now, the journey home begins. Made it home safely. Thank you so much for watching that portion of the video. Before we get into the fireworks, I took a video of the Canada Day fireworks for you. Uh, before we get into that video, I just want to let you know, thank you so much for those of you who have sponsored the Buy Me A Coffee program function in the description. There's a link there to buymeacoffee.com slash Bjarnson. I just want to say thank you so much because uh, you paid for today's video. Technically, you sponsored today's video. So thank you, thank you. And uh, if you're brand new, click subscribe. I try to push these videos out throughout the week. I'm not a consistent vlogger, but you know, I'm here enough to not be forgotten about. I hope you enjoy the remainder of today's video. Join us as we go check out the Canada Day fireworks. This of course happened last week and it was amazing, but uh, I don't, don't, don't take my word for it. Enjoy the video and uh, I will talk to you real soon. All right, peace. Now let's go back in time. Whee! Ladies and gentlemen, we're on our way to the top of the hill to go see if we can actually check out the fireworks. So this is a great time to test out the DJI Action 3 to see how it does in low light capabilities. In this case, this is 10.50 at night and the fireworks start at 11 o'clock. We're gonna go see if we can see them over a hill without actually going to the location that is Bower Ponds. Since you gotta pay five bucks for parking, we thought, you know, we can easily just walk instead of paying. So we're gonna go to the top of the hill over here and see if we can actually see it. We have made it to our destination, so we're gonna see if this is a good view to watch the fireworks or not. We will see. Check out our view. Okay, use your jacket. So this is going to be our view. We'll see if it's a good view or not. Just for clarification, I ended up switching to my phone because the camera was too dark. It could not uh, deal with the low light. So thank goodness that at the end of the day, your phone is such a good camera compared to these little action cameras we love to use on the channel. Yeah, it's got wicked delay because we're not over there. Yeah, it's called uh, sound delay. Because we're far away, 
We can see them explode before we hear them explode. No. Zoom in. See, if we had gone down to the bridge, we would have had to crank our necks extra high. Oh, there's a fuse that you gotta light and that fuse transfers to the firework. Sometimes they have remote control switches. So someone pushes a button a few feet away and activates the firework. Ooh. Oh my God. Oh, this could be the... Maybe. This could be the finale. Ooh. Yeah, this might be it. And that does it. That's all she wrote. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And uh, let me know your favorite part of the video if you made it this far. Mm -hmm, yeah, Have a safe like and wonderful weekend. And I will catch you in the next one. All right? See you later.